Welcome back once more to Siberia, everybody. This is probably the airship we're going to take over to Arlbad to see if we can find uh, Madame Romansky, but we don't know if it works quite yet because we haven't been inside. But that is about to change because I have been given the airship key. So, let's check this out. The key fits, and we're in. Fantastic. Okay. So it is an automaton. It doesn't have any legs, I suppose. He wouldn't need any. Right. Does he need winding up? <laughs> There's no key slot, I'm seeing. I can use the lever, it seems. But nothing else, just the lever. Doesn't look like that works. Shit. Well, I was kind of suspecting something like that would happen, because we haven't really done anything with the vodka or the blood testing apparatus, so I don't know. Right, nothing on the seat or anything? What about this? Can we pull this up with, like, the metal shears or something? I don't know. We can't interact with it, it seems. It's just the lever, and the lever doesn't work. Doesn't huh. look like that works. Alright. Well, that's a little bit of an anticlimax in a way. Oh. Oh, well. What do we do now, then? What do we do now? Do we go and... Do we go and ask about that? I guess... We're gonna have to do something like that, so let's leave. Let's go and see our, our drunk friend again, who's sobered up quite nicely. Right, okay. Uh, oh. Oh, he's not here? Really? Didn't he say at the end of the last video that he was going to have 40 winks? He was going to go to sleep. Maybe he doesn't sleep here? But if that's the case, where else does he sleep? Nothing else has changed in here, has it? I don't think so. Well, that's weird. Maybe we don't need to speak to him after all. But he did give us the airship key, so you would think he would know something about it. Plus, I'm kind of wondering if we need to use his blood with this apparatus. I don't know, he seems to be... You know, he's a cosmonaut, right? I think his blood would probably work. Huh, okay. Well, let's just search around the area for him. Perhaps he's around here somewhere. Oh, there he is! I've been looking everywhere for you. <laughs> and he was right next door to me. Shit. Oh, well, um... Hi. Just out of interest. Can I use this with you? I can. Right. Now, I'm not a vampire, but I do need some of your blood. Comrade Boris, I need a few drops of your blood. Excuse me? <laughs> to get the centrifuge going, we'll need to analyze the pilot's blood. If you're going to the stars, you've got to be in good health, you see? That's why I need a blood sample. It won't hurt. There's two things a good soldier is always ready to do. Drop his pants and spill his blood. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll only be needing your blood. Mm, for now. My pleasure, man. Well, he's up for it. Okay. I suppose maybe he had to do this a few times. What? Ow! What is that thing? You, you just poke your finger in there? Is there like some razor blades or something? Or you, you're sticking it into a pencil sharpener? I don't know. So we've got the blood testing apparatus filled or with a, a little drop of his blood, I guess. Okay. Can we speak to you? And there you are. I was looking for you. Uh -huh. I've managed to trigger the autopilot mechanism, but the airship still won't take off. Do you know why? Mm, maybe. I've got a, some idea. Right. But you look like you're a pretty good mechanic. Let's just say that since the start of the journey, I've managed to get by and get to know Hans Varlberg's strange contraption. Perhaps Oscar needs to come and see it or something. I have a deal to make with you. I've been living in this dumb launcher site for years. And I've always said that one of these days I'm going to the stars on that flying wing. And I'd better make that trip before vodka stews my brain. <laughs> but I gotta know how it works. And you look like you might have some clue at least. If you could help me get to the stars, I'll tell you how the airship works. What do you say? We got a deal. Mm, why not? I'll <laughs> yeah, see what I not? can do for you. I think we're kind of already in the process of doing that. That's probably why I have the blood. Okay. What are you tinkering with? Oh. Why is it taking so long? All right. Just a bit longer, if you can. I'm doing my best. I'm sorry. I just couldn't wait. Put yourself in my shoes. I've been dreaming of this moment for so long. Okay, well, let's go back up here then. Let's insert the uh, the apparatus back into its slots. 
with his blood, I should have... Well, I, I, I should have authorization to press all the buttons, right? And off he goes. Okay. So yeah, over here again. So that goes back in there. That's all powered on, yeah? Yes! Uh-huh. So that picks that up, right? Uh, I assume these are all in order. Blood... Uh, what? It's refused. Alcohol level too high. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What do we do? What happened there? Did it... I don't know, maybe it evaporated or something? Who do I get blood from, then? Well, uh, I don't know. So... Arthur, oh yeah, unauthorized procedure. If I just put it back in... Blood sample. Blood sample is definitely required. We can't get around this. So if his alcohol level is way too high... Maybe I have to go back to see Mr. Borodin? Or can I, can I do it myself? Can I do that? Can you, like, use this with yourself or something? I don't know. Screwdriver. No. <laughs> that would make me bleed, actually, probably. Depending on what I do with it. Uh, that's not what I want to use, though. What about if we just put this back and try something else? Ah, again, blood sample. God damn! Alright, I'm going to take this with me. There we go. Um... Yeah, let's go. Let's let's leave. Let's go back. Yeah, I might have to take a ride on the monorail. Wait, that wasn't closed before, was it? This monorail is controlled from somewhere else. As is the door. Shit! So we can't go back. We're trapped here. It's got to be my blood, or it's got to be the bird's blood, or something. Would the bird be authorized? <laughs> is that the sample you're looking for? Is there some way we can dilute the alcohol level in his blood? I don't know. I'm no scientist. Shit. Ah, now check this out. Look at what I found. Uh, it seems that you can actually use something. So I'm wondering if I have to pour pure vodka down here. Maybe I'll just sort of crash... Shit, no, I can't do that. Do I just use it? I do! I use it with myself! Right, that makes sense. But... that That's good? I haven't had any vodka or anything, so... I guess that's fine! Okay, I yes. think I figured out how it works. Get settled in and let's go. Oh, right! Oh, he's been in that thing and... <laughs> he's been in that thing the entire time, I didn't realize. Never been better. It's spinning a bit, but I am used to... that. I'm a professional pilot. <laughs> if you say so. Hi, you can see him walking across. He's actually going to do this. And there's only one more button left to push. Didn't he say that he was going to help me fix the airship? He can't do that if he's blasting off into space. Miss Walker. Come in, Miss Walker. Are you receiving me? I am. Uh, clear as smog. Can you speak up? I'm ready. Press the launch button. Do you not remember our agreement? This must be the launch button, right? Do we, should we just back out of this? I guess we got to back out of this. Right, hang on. Let's go see him on the rocket. If he thinks he's going to go flying off into space without telling me how to get out of here on the airship, then he's got another thing coming. Okay, so... Can I not examine this at all? Where Where is he exactly? I don't even know. Maybe on this side I can see him or something? No? Okay, alright, well, perhaps I do just have to press the launch button. Maybe he'll just sort of shout something at me or I don't know. I hope he's not bullshitting me. I'm giving him a ride into space. Hopefully I get something out of it. Is he still waiting? What are you tinkering with? Why are you taking so long? 
If you're so smart, why don't you have a go at it? I'm sorry, I just couldn't wait. Push oh, right, we heard this on the ground before, so let's skip through this. If you can. Yeah, I'm doing my best. I am going to push the last button. Have a good journey, I guess. Takeoff procedure engaged. Countdown commencing. Right. Colonel, you've forgotten to tell me the secret of the airship. That's why I went what out. What do I have to do? Yeah. The airship will need to be... What was that? Cranked. It needs to be cranked up. Okay. Is that what you just threw at me? Oh, off he goes. Oh, very nice. Very fancy. Ten. Nine. Bloody hell. Eight, seven. He's actually eight, doing it. Five. Four. Three. He's a dead man. Two. One. Zero. We have liftoff. And off he goes. Holy shit. <laughs> That's that. Okay. Well, let's hope he has a pleasant flight before he dies. Uh, okay. He definitely threw me something, though. He said something about a crank. Down here by the boxes? I swear it was down here. It was something red. Something quite thin, something red. No? Oh, it's got to be on the other side, then. Oh, hang on. No, there it is. There it is. What is it? Come on, Kate. Come on, Kate. Hopefully it's nothing too complicated, because, well, he's not around to answer questions anymore. Ah, oh, okay. A crank handle. I think I know where it goes as well. That's not an extendable bridge, is it? Is it to crank this up? Is that what that slot's for? It is. What? All right. This, this is Soyuz, isn't it? Oh. Looks like a successful hunt! <laughs> well, the birds have all cleared off. Was... Was that the problem? It might have been. We can't use this again. And so he uses happily eating one of those, I'm sure. So, let's head back to the airship. Maybe now the lever works? Yeah, no birds anywhere. Well, let's give this a try. It bloody works! So the only problem was that the birds were getting in the way, I suppose, and the automaton detected that, so we couldn't take off. Right, I thought we had to wind this thing up or something, but no, that was just for the siren. Weird. Anyway, next stop, Arolbad, right? This might be my favourite part of the game so far, honestly. Well, I'm glad the automaton knows where he's going, because I haven't got a damn clue. Is that it? That's Arrowbad? Wow. Tide's out. Cool. And the perfect landing as well. Hans, you've outdone yourself creating this thing. Well done. Alright, so... <laughs> we're at the right place, right? This is Arrowbad? I think so. I hope so, anyway. Let's just take a little look around, shall we? So, what do you think? Is the singer here somewhere? Another phone call? Hello? What do you think you're doing, Kate? I wanted updates. I wanted results. Certainly, Mr. Marson. We all do. Down on the ground, we're doing all we can, but there's no new developments. Kate, 
I don't think you understand the urgency of this situation. You I don't think he understands the complexity my of my situation. I can't hold them off much longer. You're putting the firm in a very tricky situation. I am very sorry, but a slight mishap or two has meant that I've had to modify my mission temporarily. Miss Walker, you're walking on a minefield here. I don't have to underline that this affair is Class A Priority Numero Uno. Hot! I am only too aware of that, Mr. Marson, and believe me, I am doing all I possibly can. But this mission is really no piece of cake. You can have all the cake you want and eat it, too, when you get home. Next time I call you, I want something concrete, something solid. I want results. You understand? Results! Yes, Mr. Marson. Each time he calls up, he just sounds progressively angrier and angrier, and just more frustrated. Oh well, I suppose. Thank you very much for watching this part of Siberia. Hope to see you back next time, where we'll explore this spa, we'll explore Aralbad, and see if we can find Madame Romansky. See you then. Doesn't look like that works. Shit. So, that goes back in there. That's all powered on, yeah? Yes! Can you, like, use this with yourself or something? I don't know. Screwdriver, no. <laughs> that would make me bleed, actually, probably. Oh, right! Oh, he's been in that thing and... <laughs> he's been in that thing the entire time, I didn't realise. Well, I'm glad the automaton knows where he's going, because I haven't got a damn clue.